I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell this or not, but I am filming this today on a real ass camera. And that is extremely exciting to me because this is, it's not like the fanciest camera in the world, but it is like a real camera that people use when they make YouTube videos professionally. And it is super exciting and it is also dredging up a lot of anxiety and imposter syndrome in me and i feel like we should talk a little bit about that i want to be positive i want to believe in myself i want to i want to achieve my goals and believe in my dreams and think i can do things about whatever it is you're doing in life you're trying to start a business or i don't know be an actor I don't know, figure skating. I don't know your life. I don't know. I don't know what you're up to. You know, I don't have any great ambitions, but I just decided that YouTube is something that makes me happy. Making videos, having conversations with you guys like this makes me very happy in my life. And it's something I want to just take more seriously and be more interested in. And it was such a great, nice idea. And the second I got the fancy pants, not really fancy, but the professional quality camera in my hands and I turned it on, I was like, oh God, who do I think I am? Why am I doing this? This is so stupid. <laughs> If you don't know what imposter syndrome actually is, it's essentially a belief that no matter how successful you become at something, no matter how accomplished you are, no matter how competent you are at what you do, somehow you are fake and you're a fraud and you don't really belong doing what you're doing and you're gonna get fi found out somehow. I experienced this a ton, lots of people do. I'm glad somebody came up with the na a name for this because it's actually an extremely, extremely common thing. People who are professors, who speak at universities, people who are musicians, dancers, really accomplished people struggle with this. This feeling that you're not really good enough to do what you're doing. And the fact that you're out here doing it is kind of like, like you're deluded somehow. Cause I think, do we all have this in us? Do we all have a secret fear when we're out doing things and we're looking good and we're feeling good. And you know, I'm out here, I'm making videos. People are watching them. I'm feeling good. We're talking about things. People are leaving comments. Do we all have a secret fear that we're sort of Corey Feldman somehow? You know, like, I think I'm doing this, but I actually look like an absolute moron. Do you feel that way ever in your life? I am here as always only to tell you that you are not alone in that. Not only are you in good company, not only do a lot of people feel this way, literally I think everyone does. It's because our brains are wired to keep us alive. It does not want you to take risks. There is a large, powerful, portion of your brain, I think it's like in your prefrontal cortex somewhere, that kind of fight or flight primal part of your brain that doesn't ever want you to take risks. And it will, it will just, I don't know exactly the mechanism by which this works, but it appears that it just somehow it dumps out a bunch of chemicals that cause you to think a bunch of thoughts that make you go, oh, that's dangerous. I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't do that. It's bad. It's scary. It's new. I'll, I'll be awful at it. I won't be good at it, I will fail, everyone's going to laugh at me. And here's the thing, your brain is going to do that whether you are doing something reasonable or not. Whether you are a perfectly capable stand-up comedian or you are an embarrassing failure, your brain is going to generate those thoughts and you're going to feel afraid of trying the new thing because you're just wired that way. So I say just try the new thing. And if it turns out to be an embarrassing failure and you're delusional and, um, you know, you become a meme on Instagram about 
about delusional people for all of 2024, what else? Just, just do it anyway. I, the kind of camera you're using absolutely does not matter on YouTube. Absolutely does not matter. It doesn't matter what kind of camera I'm shooting on. It doesn't matter what my lighting looks like. That is not the important stuff. What matters is the content, right? But the camera, the camera itself isn't important, but the camera, it's what the camera symbolizes. It's the camera symbolizes, I am acknowledging to myself that this is something I take seriously and I care about it and I want to be successful at it, whatever success means. Oh no, the neighbors are out. The neighbors are out. I can't be talking in f to my, f I, I can't even pretend I'm like talking to somebody on FaceTime now because it's not a phone. Oh God, eh, eh, they're judging me. <sighs> the second I got this camera in my hand, suddenly there was a part of me that felt like I was being chased through the woods by a bear with an assault rifle. Suddenly my brain was like, Catherine, stop before you embarrass yourself. Don't make another one of these videos that nobody wants to watch. Don't go out there showing what your house and your hair and your life look like. You're just embarrassing yourself. There was a part of my brain that said that and F her. Who is she? Who is that? Is that my mom? Is that like, like a, my, a mean guidance counselor from fourth grade? I don't know who that is. As always, I am not here to try to dispense any kind of expert advice to you about anything at all. I'm not here to tell you how to get over your fears and be successful. I'm just out here living my life and I want to let you know you are not the only person who is having fear and anxiety about trying a new thing. Or in my case, not even really doing a new thing, just doing a new just doing a thing I've always done in a way that is very public and other people might know that I care about it. I have a deep-seated fear of other people knowing what my plans and my goals and my ambitions are because I feel like somebody's gonna come in. This is weird. This is like some vague trauma from like bullies in fifth grade. I think that all of us experience, I know this is not specific to me, but I have some weird sort of fear that like other people will somehow come in and rain on my parade and make fun of me and be mean to me. And then I will lose my confidence if I go out and not even like I'm declaring to the general public that I'm trying something new in life, but if I do something in a way that I show myself and people can notice it, what do I care? Why would I possibly care what other people think about this? I am 46 damn years old. I don't completely know what I'm talking about today and that's okay. I'm just trying to get it together here like everybody else. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on your plans. If you feel anxious and you're worried that you might be kind of deluded and you might not be good enough, just do it anyway. And if you fail, you know what? I promise I will not make fun of you on Instagram. You will not be any worse off for trying. I have lived enough life at this point to know that the things we regret, generally speaking, are not usually things we did. They are more often things we did not do. It's really easy to just say, don't worry about what other people think. <clears throat> to other people, it's incredibly hard to say it to ourselves. But you have to stop caring what other people think or you're going to die unfulfilled. Sorry.